ever faithful companion, Die Magician Dragon! Sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com. So, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Zamora X1 here. Happy Sunday! Whoa! Today's video, I'm coming at you with the God tier, top tier, competitive cheer, blue eyes, white lightning, deco valve. I love blue eyes. I love this tank, but in today's video, all right, it's gonna be a little bit different because we're not gonna be doing the the, the needle fiber, the, the the hockey fibrax. This deck right here is gonna be strictly pure blue eyes deck for you guys today. Anyways, for those of you here on the channel for the very first time, consider hitting the subscribe button. Make sure you guys turn on turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I upload videos. It'll be absolutely amazing. Don't forget to break up a gut elbow that thumbs up button for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Anyways, this game for 3,000 plus likes. You guys can do it. And you guys haven't gotten your legendary war playmat yet? Come on, it's Sunday. You guys are slacking if you guys are waiting till the end of the week to get this playmat because I don't know. It might be gone by then. Get your legendary war playmat today in the link down below at TX1.com. And for those of you who bought it, Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely insane. I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, don't waste any more time. Without further ado, I start with the brand new Blue Eyes White Dragon deck profile for the 2021 format. All right, guys, let's do it. All right, guys, start of the monster real quick. Gonna play, of course, triple copies of the legendary dragon himself, triple Blue Eyes White Dragon. Absolutely phenomenal. You must play three blue eyes in a blue eyes based stack. Unfortunately, I don't have three copies of Star Deck Kaiba Blue Eyes White Dragon, so we gotta settle for these. I'm currently still looking for three DDS blue eyes and three Star Deck Kaiba first editions, but the prices on those cards are just absolutely ridiculous right now. So, gotta settle with these. Still pretty good. Very beautiful, iconic, old school Yu Gi Oh card right here. OG all the way. Triple copies of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, next off, I play two copies of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. This card is absolutely phenomenal. So the reason why I'm playing two copies of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon is because I'm not playing Desires. In this version, if you're playing Desires, I would recommend playing three copies of this card so you don't risk banishing one of these guys off your pot of Desires. So playing three is very optimal in that specific variation of the deck. But for this version, I felt like three is a little bit breaky. There are so many ways to actually draw in this deck and also search Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. And since I'm not playing Desires, I felt like two is just the perfect number for this deck right here. So it's all to personal preference on what you guys want to play and have access to if you guys want to play three alternative you guys go ahead and do so but for this period of blue eyes i decided to actually go with two copies of blue eyes alternative white dragon cards phenomenal real blue eyes in your hand especially this card just out of the field once per turn you can target one monster port controls and destroy it this card is not a hard once per turn effect so if you're able to arrive this card from your graveyard multiple times in one turn you're actually able to use this effect multiple times to pop multiple monsters on the field which is absolutely phenomenal and it's a quick way to help get access to your level nine synchros and also at the same time rank eight xc plays which is absolutely phenomenal so double copies of alternative and this card right here as a ghost rare looks absolutely insane guys ghost in the past is a very beautiful set and seeing this card as a ghost rare it makes me super duper happy man look at that look how beautiful this card is man super duper gorgeous so two copies of this card and you're also able to recycle this card off the white stone and ancient as well so you're always going to be able to toolbox this card and recur this card from a graveyard whenever it needs be by using the ancient's effect by banishing itself from the graveyard to add this card directly back from your graveyard to her hand which is absolutely incredible so double copies of alternative and last but not least for the one of blue eyes monster you're playing the one dragon spirit of white card's really awesome zerai's can revive this card back from the grave return of the dragon lords can revive this card back from the grave which is really really good and most importantly especially this card off the white slowly ancients uh, during the end phase to banish any problematic spell or trap cards is absolutely amazing as well so the one copy of dragon spirit of white Turn off for your big blue eyes monsters. Next off for your mini tutor engine, you're playing, of course, triple copies of Sage Eyes of Blue. Absolutely phenomenal. Searches your tutor monsters directly from your deck to your hand, uh, which is actually really, really good. So you're gonna play three copies of Sage, very standard. Next, you're playing, of course, triple copies of the White Stone Ancients. This card is one of the most important cards in the entire deck, and also the one White Stone of Legend right here. Uh, you're not playing triple copies of White Stone of Legend, is because you're not playing the Guard Dragon build. This is strictly pure blue eyes, similar 
similar to how you would play in 2016. Control, control, control is what this deck is all about. And the amount of crazy cards you play in the deck is actually going to be able to help you break boards while going second, which is really good. So this deck is amazing going first. But with the cards you guys are about to see, the deck is also really amazing in going second with the amount of crazy break a board cards that you play in the deck right here. So this is pretty much it. The Whitestone Ancients becomes really important because it's one of those cards that you want to try to get on the field as quickly as possible. So that way you get access to your big blue eyes monsters during the end phase by using this card's effect. The end phase ability is not once per turn. So if you say you send three Whitestone Ancients to the graveyard in one turn, you're basically going to be able to special them in three blue eyes white dragon from your deck in one turn using these cards ability which is really really good the most important effect is its toolbox ability but to manage yourself from the graveyard target a blue eyes monster in graveyard and you know to add it to the hand which is really good so it's going to be the most efficient way to actually recycle your alternative dragon that's why playing two copies is justifiable in this build so the white stone ages are really good and the white stone legend really great card to send off cards of continents and also a great discard outlet for melody the awakening dragon so the white stone legend is really good and be able to trigger off these cards during your opponent's end phase is it's really awesome to get rid of back row by specialing Dragon Spirit of White, uh, which is really, really good. So that's pretty much it for your tuner engine. And last but not least for your monsters, I play two copies of Nebula Dragon. Nebula Dragon is the new wave in my opinion. And a huge shout out to you seen for putting me on this card. This card is absolutely phenomenal. Basically what it does is that you can build this card and one other level eight dragon monster in hand, special them both in defense, but negate their effects. Also, you cannot normal summon a special monster for Redis' turn, except for light or dark dragon monsters. It doesn't matter because your entire deck focuses on light and dark dragon monsters anyways so as long as you summon this card in the blue eyes you have guaranteed access to a rank 8 xyz monster on the very first turn which is absolutely phenomenal especially getting access to Grubleon or Heart or Dragon or Tatanga Axie on the very first turn to back up your board with a bunch of traps is just absolutely amazing so this card is essentially a one card uh, rank 8 XCs monster with additional level 8 monster in your hand, right? So Nebula Dragon is really good and it's also a level 8 monster So if you already happens to have multiple copies of this card in your hand, you can always send to the graveyard off trading So Nebula Dragon isn't bad whatsoever. So this card is really really good The two Nebula Dragon absolutely mandatory to play in the deck in my personal opinion and to run off for your dragon monster You're playing the one of Chaos Dragon Levianir. This card serves as an extender in the deck Which is why I love Levianir so much. The really amazing thing about this card is that you're able to search this card directly from your deck to your hand using Melody of the Awakening Dragon. So that's the reason why I play one copy is because it's searchable. And it's also a great extender in the deck during late game to help get access to your rank 8 XCs play from banishing three lights to monster or board back a dragon monster from the graveyard. Uh, which is insane. If you happen to have a dark monster in the grave, you can actually help clear boards uh, with this card alone, which is ridiculous, right? So the one copy of Chaos Dragon Levianir, and that's pretty much it for all the monsters you're playing in the deck. The monster lineup is not complicated whatsoever. It is strictly pure blue eyes is what I love about this variant of the deck. No guard dragon stuff, no phalanx, no rose dragons, none of those bricks in the deck. You're playing strictly, strictly blue eyes for this competitive variant of this deck right here. All right, guys, before we get started with spells, if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get the brand new Legendary War play mat today in the link in the description box below. You guys all know the dynamic duo right here, the most iconic battles in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, the two main monsters right here. Very, very awesome, guys. Get your play mat today in the link down below at TX1.com. Absolutely amazing play mat. Well, supplies last, guys, so if it sells out, it sells out. So get your play mat today in the link down below. All right, you guys, let's get started with the spells real quick. You guys already know for your consistency cards, triple copies of the Melody of the Awakening Dragons. Absolutely amazing. Discarding Ancients or Legends to the Graveyard to search your Blue Eyes monster directly from your deck to your hand is absolutely phenomenal. It's such a huge plus when you discard those cards to the Graveyard. Search your Alternative Dragon, search your Blue Eyes, and it also searches your Levianir directly from your deck to your hand as well. So card, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, next up, I play triple copies of Traden. Uh, really amazing draw power. Your entire deck is basically level eights. And last but not least, double copies of cards of consonants right here. So these are your main draw cards and your consistency cards for the deck, uh, which is really good. You know, and of course the picture itself has legends. So you know, you must play this card in your deck right here. So the five draw cards, no desires. I don't like desires for this variant. If you guys want, I would actually prefer prosperity over desires, uh, actually. So up to personal preference on what you guys want to play. And last but not least, double copies of Return of the Dragon Lords. Bring this card back, guys. One of the best extenders in the entire deck. And most importantly, it protects your dragon monsters in your graveyard, which is absolutely insane, which is why I love this card so much. Target right, one level seven or eight dragon monster in your graveyard, special summon it. If a dragon monster control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead, uh, which is really good. So Return of the Dragon Lords, 
very nice card. So that's pretty much for the spells. No hand traps in the deck. The reason why no hand traps is because I feel like there are so many high impact trap cards you can play in this deck to actually help this deck compete going first and also to break boards going second. The really good thing about Blue Eyes is that this deck isn't complicated at all. You're not gonna lose to Nibiru because you're not gonna be summoning five times with this deck. You're gonna be summoning three times max, like Sage, Alternative, Blue Eyes Spirit, Set 5 Back Row, pretty much control the board from there, uh, which is literally insane, right? So that's how you're gonna be approaching this deck. You're not gonna lose to a lot of cards. Artifact Lancia doesn't really hurt you unless it's on Ancients. There's gonna be, the only tra hand traps that's gonna do something to you is probably just Ash. But if they have Ash, they have Ash, you know, it depends on what they Ash. But as long as you get access to Spirit Dragon with a bunch of traps, you pretty much just win the duel. So for your trap cards, high impact card, uh, Song Strike, one of the main key pieces for your trap lineup, because this card with basically any other trap card in your deck, will basically help you break your opponent's board. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't need to be complicated. Blue Eyes doesn't need to be complicated. I learned that the hard way because I always showcase you guys a combo variant of the deck, which is really unique. You know, there are so many different variants to play Blue Eyes, but I felt like if you guys want to play pure Blue Eyes, which a lot of you guys love, this is the best way to go. So it's super simple, like, Strike, Floodgate, Spirit, you win the duel, like, you're not losing, you know what I mean? So, Psalm Strike is just really good. This card with, like, Ice Strike in Prison, is insane, you help break boards. Ice Dragon Prison is really good, it's spot removal and also an extender, uh, which is really amazing, so I recommend playing this card. Paleozoic Dynamiscus is amazing. Kinda reminds me of Wing Blast, like in 2016. This card is a little bit better, uh, which is really good. Discards your Legends of Graveyard, great one-on-one -on -one spot removal, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Next off with your Board Breaker cards, uh, Torrential Tribute, uh, this card is really good. Torrential Storm Strike, you win the duel. And like I said guys, the reason why Torrential Tribute and cards like Neo Ceiling is such great board breaker cards because one not a lot of people expect this card and he shots the game for playing this in the BA deck. I've been playtesting this deck with Needle Ceiling. This card is just absolutely ridiculous uh, in this deck right here. And the reason why removal trap cards are so good in Blue Eyes is because Azure Eyes protects your Blue Eyes monster from being destroyed and also Return of the Dragon Lord. So basically you can wipe your opponent's entire board and keep your board while having cards of Return of the Graveyard and also having cards of Azure Eyes on the field which is absolutely insane. So, you see the Torrential becomes really good, especially going second with Psalm Strike. Like, Torrential, they're gonna gate it, Psalm Strike, you basically clean your opponent's board, uh, which is really good. Ice Dragon, Psalm Strike, you're winning. Then Zord Animus, Psalm Strike, you're winning. Like, it's, it, does, it doesn't have to be complicated, guys. Like, these are just great board breaker cards, in my opinion. Great one-on-one -on -one spot removals, especially alongside Psalm Strike, is amazing. You guys can either play Hand Traps, but I feel like Hand Traps is a one-for-one -one trade, whereas these cards right here, like, can easily break your opponent's entire board with just two cards like Trenchal Strike is just insane in my opinion. And I feel like trap cards are just really high impact uh, in this format. So those are board breaker cards. And for great going first cards, you play of course the Skill Drain. You activate Skill Drain, you win the duel. Basically playing Blue Eyes Beat Down at that point and you just win and double summon limit right here uh, for great cards going first right here. And all the other trap cards I showed are just really great universal trap cards. You can, it's great going first and going second. But specifically going first is like cards like Summon Limit and also Skill Drain, which you kind of want to prioritize while going first. Hence the reason why I play a bunch of trap cards, right? So trap cards are all personal preference. Here are some of the cards you guys consider if you guys don't want to main deck a lot of heavy trap cards. So number one cards you guys can consider is Ash Blossom and Joy Sprint. You guys can play Hand Traps. You guys can also play Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansions. If you guys are like, if you guys want to main deck Artifact Lancia or cards like Diddy Crow or Drone Lockbird, it's all to personal purpose on what you guys want to play. If you guys want to play a third copy of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, you guys can go ahead and do so. Remember guys, this deck is all to personal preference. My goal for this deck is trying to make Blue Eyes as pure as possible. All right, so there are different options you guys can play when it comes to building this deck. I'm not playing Guard Dragons. I don't want to play Bricks in the deck. If you guys are playing Guard Dragons, you might as well just play Dragon Link, right? This is a Blue Eyes deck. I want to prioritize on summoning Blue Eyes. I want to prioritize getting Blue Eyes White Dragon on the field and not in the graveyard all the time, right? So this is a competitive variation of Blue Eyes. This is what you guys should be playing, in my opinion, when it comes to peer variant this deck. Remember, guys, all these cards on the screen right here you guys can have access to and play. It's just personal preference on what you guys have access to and what you guys want to play. All right, guys, for the extra deck, of course, the main man himself, double copies of Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, one of Zero Eyes Silver Dragon, this card's right. If this card is special until the end of the next turn, neither player can target Dragon Monster you can't control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by card effects. So, Trench Needle Sealing with Azure Eyes, yeah, good luck killing your entire board, right? So, Azure Eyes is insane. 
Start a Spark Dragon, amazing guys. You tag this out with Spirit, like 2016. Protect your Floodgates, uh, protect your monsters. Spark Dragon is just ridiculous. And the Black Rose Moonlight Dragon is also really great as well as another interruption piece for during your opponent's turn. So that's pretty much it for your main five synchros. Next off for your uh, Xyz, Zeus. Recommend playing Zeus, this card is absolutely amazing. Galaxy Eyes Full Armor and Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. You make this, overlays on top, destroy cards in the field, full armor, attack, make Zeus, clear points of board, pretty much win the game. Tonight Galaxy, number 100 Numeron Dragon. This card is great for OTKs, and the reason you played it is because you're playing the Hard Earth, and also the Dragoobion right here, uh, which is insane. So the Dragoobion is going to be able to summon Hard Earth to actually help clear the board if your opponent can't get rid of this, and also the same for the following turn by summoning number 100 Numeron Dragon using card effect. So this card alone can summon these two cards and pretty much just OTK your opponent, and that's pretty much it for your Xyz monsters right here. And last but not least for your links, the one relinquish Anima, really good on the Bureau token if you get it, surprisingly, which you probably never will, but this card has a higher application to Link Rebo, in my opinion. If your opponent doesn't play around the zones, you can turn uh, the Ancients or Legends into Anima and then bounce the monster, which is really good. Hieratic Seal, and last but not least, the one copy of Christian Hockey Five Graphs. And the reason why I'm playing Hauk is because Hauk is really important for this deck because it gets access to White Stone Ancients. So let's say that like you can have access to Spirit and Hulk. You usually bring Hulk to bring out the second Ancients, so that way you can special them in two blue eyes during the end phase, which is really good, right? So this card is going to be able to help you get your Ancients to the graveyard faster, which is why I love Hulk so much. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up. It'll be absolutely amazing. If you guys are interested in checking more combo videos for this deck, check out the link in the description box below to your scenes channel. It'll be absolutely amazing, guys. And also, if you guys are hosting with the channel, make sure you guys get the brand new Legendary War play map today. Hit the link down below at TX1.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the peer variant of Blue Eyes for the 2021 format. Let me know your thoughts are. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. Faithful companion, Drive Magician Dragon! Be sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com.